Topping tonight's news on April 4th, the Holland family will go in front of the Board of Pardons and Paroles to voice their objection against Charles Michael Brewer's possible parole. Charles Brewer was convicted of murdering Lynn Holland, a 20-year-old with cerebral palsy in 1980. Brent Caswell sat down with the victim's sister today and has a full report on their fight to keep Brewer in prison. Brent? Yes, Lynn. Janet Edmonds, Lynn's sister, talked to me today about the violent crimes Charles Brewer committed and why it is important to keep him in prison. My word, he's evil, and evil cannot be rehabilitated. A young woman's life cut short. He was married. My sister never will be married. He has a son. She'll never have children. She really, she really didn't get to start her life. Moving into that apartment was her first um, opportunity of independence. Lynn Holland, a 20-year-old woman with cerebral palsy, was just starting her life when she was murdered by Charles Brewer in July of 1980. All excited about starting her life, and it didn't last long because she did, I don't know exactly how long, but she wasn't there long before he murdered her. He kind of nipped it in the bud for her. Brewer and Lynn lived in the same apartment complex, so it is believed he was aware she was defenseless because of her cerebral palsy. She couldn't run into another room and close the door and lock it. And he knew that. They had they were neighbors, they had met. He could have just strangled her. That's if he wanted to kill her, that's all he had to do. He didn't have to tie her up and and beat her. Her body was later found washed up in the Sipsi River, which is where Brewer disposed of her body off a nearby bridge. When he killed Lynn, it was like making the choice of, I did this, my consequence should be, is, is this. Brewer has also been linked to multiple other assaults and disappearances of other young women. One is Betty White, a woman who had a relationship with Brewer. She remains missing. We've, of course, have looked at him in other cases uh, over the years, specifically to other um, disappearances of, of young ladies around the same time. Um, and I, I truly believe that he would be a danger still to the community if let out. Brewer was convicted twice of the Holland murder and sentenced to life in prison. But every five years, he is up for parole, which he has been denied multiple times. He was given a life sentence. And, you know, we believe that um, the, the sentence should, should stand for what he was given. Um, he's been denied parole several times over already. On April 4th, Brewer is up for parole again. Lynn's sister Janet says she's not giving up on her fight to keep him in prison. To me, he can take his last breath in prison. I don't see why he should get to have time because Lynn is never going to have any additional time. Charles Brewer has been in prison for over three decades. We will keep you updated on the hearing April 4th. Reporting live in the studio, Bryn Caswell, WVUA 23 News.